Close your eyes, watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. And notice how it feels. You can focus on the breath anywhere in the body, where it seems easiest to follow. And ask yourself if it's comfortable. You can change the rhythm to make it comfortable, or even more comfortable if it already feels good. Take some time to pay attention to what you're doing as you stay here with the breath. Make sure the mind doesn't slip off and do other things. You've got one duty right now, and that's just to be with the breath. You can put all your other duties aside and focus on just this one thing. Life tends to be full of distractions. And it's very easy to just go from one distraction to another to another. And never really learn about, well, what is it that's going to those distractions? What is this mind? How does it make its decisions? When things come up in the mind, where do they come from? Do they come from your present intentions or, or past intentions? You won't know unless you really look. And by looking here, it means staying with this continually, being observant, and being patient to let things develop on their own. Of course, they're not going to be developing just on their own. You're providing the causes. But you focus on the causes and let the results gradually develop. And Paul Poot tells the story of when he was a novice. He was a John Sao's attendant. People would come and ask for meditation instructions for John Sao, and he'd say, go, keep repeating Bhutto. And if they asked, what does Bhutto mean? He would say, don't ask. And if they asked, what's going to happen when I repeat Bhutto? He says, don't ask, just do it. And then they'd come back and they reported the results. And if they were doing something wrong, he'd say, no, that's not right, try this. You know, what they were doing seemed to be going the right direction. They'd ask, is this right? And he said, whether it's right or not, go ahead and keep on doing it. And he wasn't just playing coy. Because after all, if you really do it right, you hit the deathless. That's what the path is all about. The factors of the path don't really become 100% right until stream entry. So in the meantime, you're doing an approximation trying things out, and then learning from your powers of observation what's working and what's not working, and nudging them in the right direction. So you get there by approximation, bit by bit by bit, by being very observant about what you're doing and the results that you're getting. As the Buddha himself said, it's through commitment and reflection that we find the Dharma. So you commit to doing the practice, and then you reflect on what you're doing. And then you make adjustments. That's how your discernment develops. So all the raw materials are right here. It's just a matter of putting them together, and then putting them together again, and then again, and again. And trying to do it a little bit better each time. That's how you get to where you want to go. So as we're practicing, we're, it's not wrong, but we're not fully right yet. We're between wrong and right. I hope that we're heading in the right direction. And you don't want that to be just an empty hope. You want to follow through by being as observant and as honest with yourself as you can.